My man fresh off the plane with it, you know. Damn, I would have grabbed my Louis shades. Hold on a second. <laughs> How you feeling, bro? Chilling, bro. About to get this money right now. Yes, sir. This looks like a blackout right now. Black black. You know. Not far away. If I'm strong enough, I'll live long enough to see my kids. And when something more constructive with the time than bed. Let's talk about the Bentley though. I've never seen a Bentley kitted out like that in my life. Oh, this is the first car I ever bought. I told myself when I was 18, the first type of whip I would ever buy would be exotic or sport. For sure. You know what I mean? Damn. This is the one I ended up with. It's beautiful. That was a gift to myself. All the hard work, bro. Hard work, bro. Dedication, man. Dedication. All day. Yes, sir. With the diamonds on, too. With the diamonds on. <laughs> that's how you, hey, look. That's how you know. This just ain't going nowhere. That's crazy. All day. I used to do this back in the day. I did all the photography and video work when oh, Abel was coming up. I shot all the album covers and everything. Damn! I feel honored, bro. Like, half the people, I'll be like fucking scared of them. Well, like, in what way? Just like, like fucking up my energy. Yeah, 100%, bro. I'm the same way, but you gotta protect your energy, bro. Because I'm getting old and that's energy vampires, bro. You just come around you, because you gotta look at it. Someone looks at you. This nigga's on top of the world, he's positive, right. he's doing shit that I want to do. Right. But they're looking at you not from the, the, the positive state of mind, the negative. You know what I mean? Like, let me take from this nigga. Right. Well, what can he do for what me? What can he do for me? Right. Because right now, he's coming here. I'm just, I'm just a smart person. I don't want to see this nigga thrive. I want to bring him down. Right. I don't want him to see, I want to see him be positive. I don't want to see him be energetic all over the place. You know right. what I mean? I'm a misery loves company. Right. That's what I love saying. Because it's like, why doesn't he feel like me? You know what I mean? It's impossible. How, how can he feel like that? So let me let me let me get close to him, do something to bring him down. And niggas like us. Oh, look how dangerous we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pescatarian. Right. We just eliminated the meat industry. Right. Millions of jobs gone. We don't take prescription meds. Go to the doctor often. Um. So we just knocked out all those indus industries. And we have our own businesses. Right. We buy from each other. You don't say you got my shirt on, and you know, obviously, like I listen to the music. So it's like. They see that us thriving, and they're just like, damn, he's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because if everybody felt like that, the world would be way better. Ten times better. Right. Because I was even telling my mom, like, I'm trying to be that positive infection in my family. But like I'm trying to do it in my family. And I'm like, look, look what happened if we just like I have I can't tell you last time I've been to the doctor, right. hospital or anything, or right. I took prescription med or her here areas in the grocery store, I just don't go down there. I don't eat that type of shit. I don't right. like that. Right. And my kid knows when we here. We had daddy's house, bro. We ain't fucking with none of that shit right, that ain't right. organic, you know? So, like I said, I told him, I was like, bro, we land holders, bro. Right. So you gotta put that good shit in there. Straight up. You see, you see what I'm saying? And he went back home, he told my mom, putting the pineapple just ain't 100%. I'm right. like, I got yeah. it right. That's crazy. But we dangerous. Yeah, bro. So, like, they but don't want that. They don't yeah. want that, though. They don't you know what I mean? Society doesn't want nah. that. The structure doesn't want it. Because that 1% isn't gonna be 1% anymore. Right. You know what I mean? It's gonna be 20, 30%, because everyone's gonna catch on to the way and be successful. Then they take dudes like us. Put us against each other. 100%. Yeah. 100%. How many actors I met out here, bro? But I met actors, and like, they'll see me, big time films. He saw, like, he stopped seeing me as a threat. 100%. And I'm just like, bro, I'm not gonna take nothing from you. Uh -huh. And then I asked my other friend, and he was in some big time movies, and I'm just like, bro, why, why is dude like that? He's like, oh, he's just nervous because uh, he thinks it's not enough jobs for black dudes in the industry. That's what I'm saying. Wait, he might get on. Right. Because I mean, fitness is cool for me. Right. Bro. Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro, Smith, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, that's where I'm going. Right. I don't look at nobody as a threat. And when I see somebody driving, like, I see you pull up, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah bro. bro. I see the diamonds, I'm like, yeah, yeah you know what I mean? Like, I it's love more that. We need, a, we need a unifier for billionaires, and they all stick together. They put each other on plays. They tell each other, yo, I'm investing 20% in this. You want to come in on me? Right. You know what I mean? We don't have that state of mind, bro. We're trying to push each other out. 
keep shit to ourselves and try to fuck a look at the next nigga as a threat, a competition. Right. You know what I mean? There's no unity in us. That's why we're so divided, you know what I mean? We can't break out of the real rulers of this shit. Right. But you know what I mean? They just for centuries and decades, bro, just broke us down, you know what I mean? To the floor. And hopefully we can rectify that and change, but it's gonna take like a lot of time and effort. And it's unity. gonna take a lot of us. You know Straight up. Are we too loud? You good? All right, cool.